Hello Shopify store owners and welcome. In this video I want to show you how to create drop down menus with the new system that Shopify implemented in 2018. So subcategories or sublinks or drop down menu or however you want to call it multiple level menu they call it now nested menu. So this is from Shopify documentation. The nested menu uh, what's important to know is first of all you will need to recreate all your existing drop-down menus as nested menu if you want to use this you always have the choice to remain with your old method of doing it or use this one the nested menu I do recommend it because it's easier to do and work with it of course if you have I don't know if you have over 10 drop down menus it's going to be complicated to make the switch but if you have only one or two like in my case I only have this one so I'm going to show you how to do it here. The second thing that it's important to know is depending on the theme the theme you're using the nested functionality in the back end will work but maybe on the front end it will display maybe just one or two levels. Uh, it really depends on the CSS, which is the style of your template. If this is the case, contact the developer of the theme or template you are using. Maybe they can help you with this. In order to make the changes, we need to go in our admin panel. So just click on online store. In this demo store that I have, I'm using the minimal theme. Uh, but the nested should work with all of your themes or templates. So just go here on the left side on navigation. You may have multiple menus here. What you want to do is find your main one. In my case, it's simply main menu. Uh, but what I mean by main one is the one that has all your links inside. So in my case, I have the main menu and I know I want to target the catalog. And I know that I'm using the old technique, which consists of using the same name to create this menu and that's how your you see here the handle it's exactly catalog the name of the menu is exactly the same name as the link inside the main menu maybe it's confusing don't worry about that we're going to delete it after so what you need to do is go in your main menu and me what i have inside here i have so I have two categories, watches and t-shirt, and I have a view all. View all, it's gonna point to all the products. So we're gonna do the same thing. What you need to do is add a new item. We want to call it watches. Let's do watches two, just to make sure we're doing correctly. So select collection and watches. Then you can add the menu item itself and the, the tricky part on how they change it is you can notice here you have the drag and drop option so you can play around it so what you need to do is come inside the catalog and just shift a little bit on the right so it's gonna go under now we want to add the second one so we can add it straight inside my catalog drop down menu just click here we want to do the same thing for t-shirts collections and let's search t-shirts so I'm adding this and you all you can find it in collection also and your first option is all collections actually no I want to see all products not all collections so click on products and then all products we do add let's save it Shopify said that this may cause a bug so let's just save it and see what it looks on front end now that I added here. Before I show you what it looks on the front end, I just want to take 40 seconds of your time to show you a cool app that I created and that it may help you increase your number of sales and checkouts. It's only 40 seconds. It will mean a lot to me if you can try it and, and purchase it for your store or just share it with somebody that may need it. If not, just skip ahead 40 seconds and you will be able to continue with the tutorial. Are you, you selling products with multiple variants in your Shopify store? Like size or color? Do your customers complain about not being able to edit the products that they put in their cart? Your customers are annoyed and losing precious time because they have to delete the product from the cart and add it again. But 
Rectify is the solution for you and your customers. Rectify will add an edit button to the cart page so they can make changes to each of the products that they have selected. Get Rectify app today for a low one-time fee. No monthly fees. Pay only once. I don't see the bug. Seems that it's taking directly uh, the drop down menus inside the new nested menu. So you see, I have here watches too. So let's just test it out and edit this also. <clears throat> Click save and let's refresh here. So, yeah, this is exactly the links from your from your nested menu so you can go back to your navigation and delete the other menus you had that they were creating your drop down menu we can just delete this we don't need it anymore and just refresh to make sure and that's it so it's pretty simple to use. Again, it, it will depend on your on your team you're using, how many levels you're gonna be able to see. But basically, you you adding an item and then you're just gonna drag and drop it and see here if you want to create a third level, you can just add it there, and that will be your maximum. See, it doesn't let you do it. So that will be your maximum. You can have. This is considered your first level then second level and third level of links inside your menu which is called drop down menu so this is it if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below also give it a thumbs up if it helped you please subscribe to my channel i'm going to release new videos like this in the following weeks and if there's something that you need to know just suggest it in the comments and i'm going to do a video about it also don't forget about the Shopify app I told you about Rectify please test it there's a special promotion going on right now we will increase the prices coming soon thank you